Hello and welcome everybody, my name is Marco and I'm Mr. Good Riddance. This is the second video from this week of tutorials focused on strainer pores. I hope you find this useful, please subscribe if you like my videos and now, without any further ado, let's do this! Okay, so today we're doing a strainer pour using a sink strainer. This sink strainer is a bit taller than the one I used in my last video. And if you haven't checked my last video yet, you can click in the top right corner of this video and check it out now. So right now I'm just adding some silver as a base of this pour and I've added some silver in the corners as well. I will just spread them out later on. For now, I will just start adding all of my colors and I'm going again through the whole color spectrum of my paint, starting from red. So I'm also turning my painting around a bit every time I add a few colors. This is just because sometimes the paint will start flowing predominantly in one direction and I want to try to have it evenly spread around my strainer. Also, I'm waiting a few seconds between every three or four colors to allow the paint to exit the strainer through the holes and leave more space for the new colors that I will add. A little note that I repeat from last video, remember that the key for strainer pores is having liquid paint. If it's too thick to properly filter through the holes, you won't manage to get this kind of effect. So as you can see, the paint is now expanding on the canvas, creating all these different patterns that kind of look like a kaleidoscope. Now I will just lift and twist my strainer to give the center of the painting a little curve, and then I'll push the canvas on my cake turntable to have the paint spread around. Always remember to start with a gentle push and continue with harder pushes if the paint needs to expand further. Just be careful not to start super hard or your paint might fly everywhere. So right now my paint cannot spread much more anymore, so I'm just adding some more silver in the blank spaces. You don't need to be super precise here, you can just add as much paint as you need and then we'll spread it out with our fingers or with a little spatula or something like that. Now I'm using my finger to spread the paint around. Again, you don't need to be super precise here. We're gonna have the painting rotate on the platform again and the new paint will even out by itself. So now I'm not a huge fan of all the silver around the edges, so I will use a straw to blow the colors around it and fill most of that space. I like the space in the middle of that side, so I'll probably keep that, but I'll try to fill the rest. So now I just tilt a bit to recenter the painting and I will add a bit of extra color on this corner so it's easier to spread around. And recentering once more. So this is the final look of the artwork after drying. I think it kind of looks like a galaxy inside a sunflower, what do you think? As you can see, the paint in the corners evened out, so it's now all smooth and leveled. 
so thank you so very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did please leave a comment like this video and do consider subscribing if you're finding these videos useful thank you once again and see you next time